everyone, and welcome back to the Raj Rodriguez channel, and today is Halloween. It's October 31st, and I might be out of candy at this time, but, oh, I definitely forgot. I might be out of candy, but I'm not out of tricks at the moment. So, today we're taking a look at the Stars Black series, Target exclusive, Clone Trooper, Halloween edition. Look at the front of the box. Again, just like the Wookiee, you get this awesome look that uh, really shares the holiday spirit with this purple background. And it has a bunch of these little characters in the background. Has the figure here in the front as a digital render. Um, the Star Wars Black Series logo up here in orange font. And there is no line right here. But you do get the name of the character right here at the bottom. And here on the side, you get like this hologram sort of like look here on the side of the box, the name here on the bottom. And here on the side of the box, or sorry, the back, you get um, another digital render of the character, a description, and there is no number that uh, shows up with this figure. Get a bunch of warnings here on the side. And here on the other side, you get a visual look at the character and uh, the accessories are included with this figure. The little description of the plastic-free packaging. Uh, so other warnings. And there's nothing here on top. And before I open up this figure, I did want to mention, I ordered this guy off of Amazon because I cannot find him last year at all. And crazy enough, I got this note in the mail saying that he was from Germany. This dude shipped all the way from Germany, and I think it's pretty cool that uh, I was able to get this figure just in time for this holiday occasion, but uh, yeah, just wanted to put that out there, and uh, this guy's gone a long way. But I'll go ahead and open it up, and it's just inside. Opening up the box, you get this cardboard tray with the figure and the accessory inside, and as you can see... Just like before, you get this awesome uh, festive sort of like tissue paper. And uh, I'll go ahead and open them up and we see a better look. And I'll go ahead and get the figure out of this paper burrito. Oh my gosh. Immediately I saw that skull. Wow. Look at him. Okay, that's pretty cool. And here's our box. And looking up close. He looks so cool. Like, the overall look is just, you know, breathtaking. I love this skeleton sort of, like, printing here on the armor, uh, especially the helmet. I love the skull. That looks really neat. But I'll go ahead and review from top to bottom. Look at the helmet. It looks so cool. And here in the front of the visor, you do get this, like, skull. And then, of course, the rest of the helmet is black. And I already tested this out, but unfortunately, this um, the printing does not glow in the dark. So that is a little bit of a letdown, but it does look really neat overall. Going over articulation, he does have some movement here at the head. So you can see you get quite a bit of movement in the neck and the top right here. Here's side to side, all the way back, and all the way forward. Looking at the torso, he has this black chest plate. And it has, of course, this rib cage, sort of like printing here in the front. You can see his collarbone, of course, up here. And the rest of the armor is in all black. But it looks really neat overall. And he does have a ball joint here at the upper waist. So you get quite a bit of movement here side to side, all the way back and forward. Look at the arms. The arm sticks out about there. And as you can see, the shoulder pads are made of a looser plastic, so that's nice to know. Uh, you get quite a bit of movement, as you can see. He does have butterfly joints, which give uh, a lot more movement. Uh, it goes all the way around. His elbow goes up about there. He has a sole here at the elbow, and he does have articulation here at the wrist and at the hand, so you get quite a bit of movement right there. The other side as well, arm sticks out about there, goes all the way around. His elbow goes up about there, has a swivel here at the elbow, and he does have movement here at the wrist and at the hand, so you get quite a bit of articulation. And again, he does have butterfly joints, 
So that's nice to know. Look at the waist. He has the rest of his, uh, the bone printing here. You can see he has, like, his spine right here. And then, of course, uh, this hip joint. But, um, of course, the rest of the armor is all black. He has his black belt. Has a grenade, which does not come off. Has some pouches going around it. And, again, looks really neat. Look at the legs. The legs go out into a position. They do go out into a single position. And they go back about there. And, of course, looking at the uh, thighs, they do have a swivel on each side. And look at the knees. The knees do go back about there. You can see he has, of course, the leg or the bones running throughout the legs. And then you can see <laughs> the bones running throughout his feet, which are really cool. Um, but speaking of feet, they do point down about there. They point all the way up, as you can see, and he does have rock wrinkles. So these are cool action poses. And up next, we'll take a look at the accessories. The accessories come in this really big uh, paper bag. And of course, you can just tear it open just like this. And what goodies do we have in here? Oh boy. We got ourselves a Porg. Put that to the side. Oh my goodness. Look at that. We have individual chocolate bars. That is so cool. We have this wooden crate of some kind. And look at this. It looks like we did end up having candy. We have tricks and treats in this video. Look at that. Tiny chocolate bars. These are the best car ingots. Uh, just like the Wookiee had. Except these are individual. So that's really cool to see. And you get five of them. So let me try and pick them all up. Look at that. You get tiny chocolate bars. And in case you were wondering, yes, the figures can hold the chocolate bars. That is just too cool. Up next, we have our Porg. Look at the Porg. It looks very cool. And this time he's dressed up as like a little vampire. He has like this blue sort of like uh, face paint. He has yellow eyes, and then of course he has that traditional Dracula hairstyle. But real cool, his feathers actually look like a cape. So that's really neat. And of course Dracula can't stay in the sunlight for too long, and he needs some time to sleep. So our last accessory is this giant crate. Now this is either just a giant crate, or it's going to be like the coffin of this board, which I'm pretty sure is going to be happening, but look how cool. This crate has so much detail going throughout it. It has like this wooden texture, feels really neat. In the front, you get tiny little uh, sort of like silhouettes of the Halloween printing. Then you open up this latch, and inside, you get a whole bunch of like stuff. And I think this is actually based off of the crate. I'm I'm just guessing at this point. The one where uh, Leia, or not Leia, sorry. Where Rey finds Luke's, um, what's it called? Lightsaber. I think that's what it's based off of, but I could be wrong. But inside you get like this <laughs> assortment of stuff. And it has this Jabba ghost printing here on the top of the lid. Now what I'm going to do... It's got my Porg, and what they showed is you can actually put him, like, to the side or things like that, where he's, like, kind of, like, sleeping. That's at least what they showed. But it'd be kind of cool just to have him, like, you know, r rising up from his slumber. Or you can close the lid, you can put him up on top. Or better yet, you can actually get the chocolate bars and hide them in here. So that way no one else can steal them. That's pretty neat. So as an overview of the figure. Honestly, you gotta have some of these like holiday edition sort of like characters in your collection. They look so cool. Like you cannot at least like a little bit of these characters. Um, the clone trooper in general, like everything is on point. 
The articulation is pretty smooth, which I do like. Um, the accessories make this figure worthwhile. The chocolate bars, the little pork, and the uh, tiny little crate are some of the best accessories I've seen so far in these Halloween sort of like figures. But yeah, definitely worth it. If you ever spot this guy out in the wild, or at least maybe he'll make a return this year, definitely get him. It's so neat. And before I go, I want to wish you all a happy Halloween and uh, hope you guys do pretty well in your trick-or-treating today. Leave it here and say if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And if you like the content you see here on the channel so far, be sure to subscribe. And be sure to follow me on my Instagram page. Hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll catch you guys on the next one.